Hello everyone, welcome back to episode 3 of Benito's Beekeeping Guide. Today we're going to focus on ways you can improve the productivity of your bees via a number of different options. So let's get started. Alright everyone, we're back at my makeshift little bee farm area we got. Bees are still buzzing away as always, making me comb. We've got different breeds still going. And I may slowly show more breeds as I go just by accident. If you need to learn more about breeds, I did a quick video in the last guide. But today we're going to talk about different ways you can improve the productivity. Uh, the main way you can do that is by making these frames which go in these slots. And there's three types of frames. The easiest frame, which I will show you here, you make with sticks in a square, a bit of string in the middle, and you get an untreated frame. And that's easy enough, you put it in there. And then what that will do is your bees will produce more stuff basically. So I'm not sure how it works, like maybe each tick there's a percentage chance of making a sign, it just raises the percentage or, you know, something like that, I'm not entirely sure. But you can see it gets damaged as it works, so when this tick down, that took a bit of damage. So there's also two other types of frames in addition to the ones that you can make here. Let's make a couple more. So let's put two more. Just like that. They don't stack, so if you're filling up one, you got to carry it all around, stick all them in there. Like I said, when this ticks down, these will take a bit of damage and all that. So there you go, they've all taken a bit of damage. But now this one should produce more than all the other ones. Maybe put together, I'm not too sure the percentage of how it works. But that's the most easy one you're going to be able to get. The other two, so if we put this one in here, is the proven frame and the impregnated frame. And you get these from villages, as I'll show you in a bit. And they work much the same, you put them in there. The difference is the proven frame has a much higher durability than the untreated frame. Somewhere like three times as much, honestly, I think. That's using a guess from what I've seen. And the impregnated frame, I think, just is better than this one. It has the same durability, but it will basically produce more from it or increase the chance even more than normal. So that's the most basic way. The second way is to build an alviary, which if we look at it with this, is this little box. The problem is, as you can see, this is quite a complicated recipe to make, especially when you get all these extra things, alviary fans, alviary heaters. So we're actually not going to cover that today. We're going to do that in a later episode just on its own, because it is quite a big subject, the alviary. As you can see, this is on two still, still on zero still on zero, but this one's already got another one. This one's not got any. But I'll head over and find the village and I'll show you how you get these extra special frames in just a second. Okay, so here we are, not the best not the best city I've seen, especially since that's quicksand which will kill you. But over here we do have what we need, which is uh do I have any blocks for me? Let's use this. Just a bit of wood for now, just so I can do this. And put that there. We have this guy who is a beekeeper. And he will sell you stuff like this comb for wheat and all that. We'll have a look at what other trades he can do in a bit. And we'll cover him today. But back here, we have these two hives. You can see this got a couple of proven frames in it, as well as an untreated one. And a, a queen for us to use. And there's another apiary here, which is just empty. But this is a good way to you know get extra apiaries, bees, and these extra frames. So we can take these, we can take the bees and the apiaries, we can take these back to our base. It's all very good. And this will just increase production for us by quite a bit actually. So where's that guy gone? Okay, we're going to look into what you get. So I'm just going to get some extra trade sorted on him and we will be back in a moment. Alright, I spent some time trading with this guy, so I wood for apiaries. And you can actually buy these frames from them as well, so I've got quite a lot of them. You can trade princesses for emeralds, I know you expect you can do vice versa. Uh, you won't take the queen for it though. I don't think if I put this in he'll get a new trade. I don't think so anyway. No, okay. So you can get these frames by buying off these. You can get bees, you can get more apiaries. So we've got another three here. So we're going to head back now to the original little starting area we have. And uh, this, this is going to be it for this episode. We'll just talk about the frames mostly and the villagers. So, and then next time, ooh, 
Why the heck not, right? So there we go, we've got another tropical one, which is good. We can grow that in a jungle biome that's nearby. I'm strapped under a lily pad. So yeah, you can do find these um, beehives anywhere, really, if you're lucky, like that. That was just a random happenstance. So we get back, we'll set up these new APRES. Okay, we can check the frames. Ouch, that was silly. So it wasn't actually that far from the village, luckily. So let's put these new ones that we got down at the village. Let's get rid of that. There we go. Well, let's put the tropical ones in there. Breed them up. Let's put that one in there. Let's also put one, two, three. One, two, three. Let's take you out because we need to cross speed you with these ones. Let's put you in there. Let's get you to be common. And let's hopefully get you to be common as well. Didn't put frames in here though. So these proven frames will last me quite a while because they're like the extra durable ones. Bit of a shame to get any more impregnated ones because uh, like I said, those increase how much product you get. There's no bees in this one. Oh, it's one of the new ones, isn't it? There we go. So we're going to be the common and the cultivated again. We want to keep that going. So there we go. They're all starting to break. Starting to break again. Let's cross breed you, John. There you go. So that's frames covered. They're not the most complicated thing, but they do help a lot, especially if you can find one of those villages where you can buy them. Otherwise, you go for a lot of string. You go for a lot of string keeping them up. So either you want a spider farm or one of those villagers who sell them for you for emeralds. So I've also got quite a few shimmering cones, which I'm actually going to put in here. So because I did show you a shimmering cone last time, I think. I think I did. Oh, you get this refractory wax, so I don't think I showed you. That's another type of wax you can get by breeding a certain type of bee. So yeah, that will about cover it for frames. Next time we will get into... What will we get into next time? So we've got that covered. We've got the crossbreeding covered. Oh, we're going to get into what you use all this stuff for. So like this refractory wax, this phosphor, you know, all this good stuff. All this silk wisp and basically what all this is used for in the end. So I'll get smelting it down, I'll get growing some more, more bees with this, maybe get some new types of bees so I can show you more things. And as always, I hope you enjoyed watching, and see you next time. Toodles!